got a rigid battery 24 volt 3 ampere hour built in 2006 so that's 10 years old undid the uh, torque security you have to slit this to get this apart here's the case Now I've got the battery pack. It's got four giant lithiums here. And they're bigger than the 18650s. They're much bigger in diameter. There's six of them in series. And I'm running this through a power supply. I was running this little amp des power design one that only puts a half amp. Found it. Uh, starting to put some charge on it. I got 23 volts across the all six cells right now. I'm using a WAN Tech power supply, 120 volts, 3 amps, a switcher from China. Putting 3 amps in. Got a fire extinguisher right by because this is kind of a hokey setup. But when I first measured across each cell, it was only about uh, 0.01 volts, so they're all basically dead. And I connected up this charger and just put a little charge, a little voltage across, about 30 volts, excuse me, a lot of voltage, but then just 50 mils and brought them up slowly. I could have done that with this. Now I'm going to go over here and that's not hooked up. And there's a the voltage going to drop down. Now what I'm doing is I'm charging across six cells here without the protection circuit, which is a little bit dangerous. You don't want to do this and leave this unattended unless you've got a area that's not going to burn down. The way the protection circuit works is it has, measures the voltage across each cell, and if it's out of whack, it'll shut the whole pack down so it doesn't get charged. It's like having a string of six people in line, one guy's wimps out or has too much through it or gets reverse bias they'll end up shutting it down that's why a lithium pack tends to just shut off abruptly NICAD packs don't have that that's why a lithium pack generally costs more it's got a circuit board over here there's the switching circuits that shut it off This particular one's got, there's the two inputs, that's the thermistor input. These are actually 27, 26, 700 A's, which are big darn batteries. And this is the switching gizmo that turns it off uh, when it detects the pack can get hurt. So it's got a circuit board trace that goes through and looks basically across each one if one is out of whack or the voltage is too high or tends to drop too low it shuts the pack off 